travel all over the country. I performed in all 50 of these United States. It's been quite an education. Before I became a comic, I didn't know a darn thing about geography. I thought Winnipeg was a game show for pirates. <laughs> That's right, a game show for pirates. I'll take things that begin with R. <laughs> this ever happened to you? Last week somebody sent me a chainsaw in the mail. <laughs> now I gotta send chainsaws to ten other people. So I spent a lot of time in hotels, and I think I'm sticking to the big chain hotels from now on. I experiment with a couple of smaller hotels. Recently I was in Georgia, southern Georgia. Driving down the road, saw a billboard for a small hotel. It said, we treat you like family. <laughs> so I checked in. Sure enough, next morning, 8 o'clock, somebody's banging on my door saying, when are you going to get a place of your own, damn it? <laughs> I was out of there as soon as I was done cutting the grass. <laughs> but I'm a modern man, that's right, you're looking at a modern man. I do all the shopping, I do all the cooking. As for the housework, I whack that right down the middle 50 50. Of course, I live alone, it's only half of it gets done. <laughs> I love that email. I'll tell you, since I got email, I've been hearing from people I haven't heard from in 15 minutes. <laughs> I checked into a small hotel in Alabama, the guy behind the desk, the desk clerk, took one look at me and he actually said, I thought he was kidding, he actually said, you ain't from around here, are you, boy? <laughs> so I kidded right back to him, I said, oh, no, that's why I need a hotel room. <laughs> I had dinner at a restaurant last night. Halfway through the meal, I had occasion to use the men's room. Small sign next to the wash basin said, Employees must wash hands. Well, I'll be damned if I'm going to wait for some employee to come in and wash my hands. <laughs> I waited for a while. I eventually washed them myself. I am nothing if not law-abiding, <laughs> which is difficult when you travel as extensively as I do. Hard to keep track of local state laws and regulations. Let's give me an example, I was walking across the street in Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix cop car swoops down on me. Cop gets out and says, hey, in Arizona we call that jaywalking. I said, hey, in New Jersey walking doesn't have a first name. <laughs> They got a real nice jail there in Phoenix. <laughs> I was out of there a day. <laughs> uh, so I'm six foot two, six foot three, whatever, it never comes up. <laughs> I'm tall, tall by some standards, especially the standards of little old ladies. I say that because every time I go to the grocery store, same thing happens every time. Little old lady will see me coming down the aisle, same thing happens every time. Excuse me, you're tall. <laughs> Could you get that off the top shelf for me? Of course, I'm a nice guy, I get it for her. But if I see her later on, I say, excuse me, you're short. <laughs> Did you get that off the bottom shelf for that? Because <laughs> I like to confuse and confound little old ladies. Especially my mother. My mother's crazy. She's 88 years old, she's blind in one eye, and she still drives. <laughs> I call her each and every day, not just because I'm a good son, but because I live five minutes away, I want to know when she's going to be on the road. <laughs> Get it out of your system, man. We're 
going on to the next.